Greetings, YouTubers of the world. I am Grimroad, and today our topic will be the fanfic called Memory of Shadow. To put simply, this is probably one of the most chilling fics I've read in quite some time. Not because of gore, not because of demons or any other form of traditional horror. No, this fic is more psychologically driven. Allow me to explain. The fic starts off with a nice little pony named Shadow. This little pony was a very accomplished thief. So accomplished, in fact, that she was able to garner quite the pop culture reputation among the Canterlot elite. Most notably, she only targeted ponies who had the means to replace what was stolen. In short, she only robbed from the rich and gave to herself. A sort of halfway Robin Hood type character if I ever heard of one. But that doesn't necessarily make this story scary. The, on top of obtaining quite the reputation, Shadow has been caught a couple times, even brought to rehabilitation centers to help her harmonize with the more productive members of society. Considering that she is now in shackles and has her wings bound, you can only assume how well that went. No, the truly scary thing is the fact that now she's being presented to Celestia. And of course, Celestia had already gathered quite a bit of information on Shadow, including her less than favorable youth, being the offspring of a neglectful mother and abandoned father, forced to live on the streets and to become a thief. In fact, thieving is, as she puts it, her special talent, one that she finds that she doesn't quite want to part with. This leads to Celestia having to reharmonize her. Remember that mention of a reformation spell back when Discord was still evil-ish and Fluttershy was trying to reform him? That's basically what this is, and we get to read the whole process. We get to see how Shadow struggles to fight against this new persona, this new identity that's being forced upon her, as bits and pieces of her past are stripped away, replaced with more favorable equivalences. We find her desperately trying to cling to her old identity, her own true self, only to find in the end how futile such an endeavor turned out to be. In many ways, this fanfic leaves me mixed. On one hoof, Shadow's getting a new life, a better one, one that won't involve her getting arrested every so often. But on the other hoof, Celestia is stripping away an entire pony's life. She's taking away a person. She's removing everything about them and replacing it with a, I guess you could say, better equivalent. It's even implied by her that she has had to use this method a few times in the past. Which leaves one very chilling question, my friends. How often has Celestia had to re-harmonize ponies? Just how many characters in the show are truly who they are meant to be? And which ones are the ones that Celestia changed? Now, my problems with this fic are actually zero. Spelling, grammar, pacing, tensing, all of it is perfect. I couldn't find any real reason or anything to really criticize about this fic. Aside from the fact that it's a one-shot, which is literally the only thing keeping me from giving this a Platinum 11. 
it's perfect, or at least perfect within the concept of a psychological horror. If you tried to make this do a comedy, I'm pretty sure everyone would argue against it. <laughs> all the same, among all four categories, this fanfic earns a 10. And overall, of course, I give this fanfic a 10. I also humbly request that the writer decides to make a sequel. Possibly a story involving a pony that's able to resist the reharmonization process. That would be a rather interesting line of thinking, don't you think? What happens when Celestia finally meets that one pony she cannot recreate? That is able to resist her influence? <laughs> Quite the food for thought, wouldn't you say? Anyway, you all know what to do now. Like, comment, subscribe, and stop by Arcanum's Patreon account and leave a small donation. After all, every bit helps. See you all next time, my friends. And have a pleasant nightmare night. <laughs>